your stock pick for today. JP, what are you picking? So I'm choosing a sporting goods company. And it's the third biggest sporting goods company in the world. Number one is Nike. Number two is Adidas. Number three is Anta Sports. And people might have heard of Nike or Adidas, but I'm guessing a lot of South Africans haven't heard of Anta Sports. And that's because it's a Chinese sports apparel retailer, sneakers and clothing and all of that. They also own a company called Emma Sports, which listed in New York earlier this year. And that owns brands like Wilson. Do you think of some basketballs with the logo Wilson on? And um, basically, they got, they're exposed to the Chinese consumer and the few Western consumer markets as well. And we've seen the Chinese economy be under pressure, Chinese consumers be under pressure. And I'm hoping that that's sort of coming to an end and that we could see the bottom of this negative consumer cycle in China. And if that is the case, South Africans are used to buying IT companies exposed to China. What about an apparel company? A bit more simple. We don't have the same regulatory risk. And there's a lot of active at leisure wearers in China that will buy their sneakers and their tights and their t-shirts from Anta Sports. So that's my stock pick tonight. Yeah, especially work from home people. Uh, Zolake, on your side, what are you picking? Yeah, I'll go with the, uh, a staple, uh, Rekord Ben Kisa. Uh, the, the company is trading at a significant discount to uh, the historic uh, uh, multiples, but more importantly, it's trading at a discount relative to peers. But it has done relatively well. I mean, I think, uh, save for the nutrition division, so they've got uh, the, a brand called uh, Infamil, which is the baby foods. And uh, that, that division uh, struggled with volumes there, but on the in the other divisions where you have healthcare, they've got Nurofen, Gaviscon, those type of products. And then in the other uh, seg se segment, they've got the Dettols. Uh, the, the, that's actually quite a resilient business. And, and we've seen that uh, as inflation comes down, the volumes have picked up to some, to some extent in the other two divisions. The nutrition division is still struggling, but uh, I think overall, I mean, it's, a, it's quite a good business trading at a big discount. Uh, all right. Well, thank you so much for your time and for your analysis today, gents. Uh, really uh, great insights there. That is all for tonight's Stock Watch. Thanks to our guests, so like Kevin Guni from Benguela Global Fund Managers and Jean-Pierre Verstaff from Protea Capital Management. <laughs>